We have microbes all over us. They outnumber host cells by about 10 to 1. It is clear that the microbes that we live with that are in our body and on our body are very important to our health. We're interested in how microbes influence the immune system, particularly the immune system of the gut. There are approximately 100 trillion microbes in the oral cavity and in the small and large intestine. In this project, the question really was, are they uniquely qualified to live on us? Or could they be substituted by microbes that come from another species? We couldn't take the microbes out of humans and put another set of microbes in. Instead, we did it in the mouse, where we started with germ-free mice. These mice truly have no microbes on them. We actually check them every week to make sure that just in our handling of them, they don't acquire bacteria. So now in each isolator, we had mice colonized with either human or mouse microbes. We really wanted to see if there was a functional deficiency in the case of mice with human microbial species. So what we did was we uh, challenged the mice with Salmonella typhimurium. It's a pathogen that causes the intestine to get inflamed. What we found was that their immune systems were not functioning in full force, but these mice could withstand infection when colonized with mouse microbes. To examine this further, we colonized mice with rat microbial species, and actually the rat microbes were no more useful to the mouse than the human microbes. These studies provide evidence that microbes, and in our case humans, have co-evolved over eons to have a beneficial relationship to each other. This also fits in with the hygiene hypothesis. Our clean environment may affect the microbes that inhabit us that provide resistance to infection and perhaps to other diseases as well.